it's kind of messed up. Like, I, uh, losses yeah. track like like wins track too. Like, like I mean, come on, no one's ever gonna forget that like Crimson Blur lost to a Kirby, right? Yeah, like, no one. That's just it. And there's other things too. It's like all the way around. Like everyone will remember for the rest of the time, Magi beat Mango and made yeah. a crazy upset. But it works the other way around too. Of course. Like Cody losing to. Leffen didn't even <laughs> lose to Ringler, and people still bring that up. Like, that's so messed up. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, those are the wild ones where you didn't even lose the set, but it was, like, close. It was close, but, like, you won the set, and they still clown you for it. It's messed up. And now DK is good now. Yeah, yeah. Debatably. The the one we used to always say in North Carolina was uh, Smash Bob versus uh, uh, Stockholm. Stockholm. Yeah. With, where he beat Stockholm Syndrome with, or Stockholm Syndrome beat him with Bowser. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy set. Crazy good times, set. good times. All right, we are finally getting into Dawson Goosecon, though. More Falcon Puff action. More Falcon Puff action. So um, Dawson, one of his really good friends, uh, a Greek Falcon player. Well, okay. I, I guess he's from Philly, but like, he's Greek. Yeah. Uh, his tag used to be Panties, and then Pantalones, <laughs> okay, sure. and now it's Panos. Uh, all uh, right, I had no idea who you were talking about. That's yeah, so funny. He's really good, uh, especially versus Puff. And uh, he plays Dawson all the time. Man, thank so God he changed his tag. That's awesome. That's one of those tags you don't want to lose to, actually. Oh, I lost <laughs> to Panties and Winners? <laughs> Dang. Dang. But yeah, no, um, Panos is good. Yeah. Dawson yeah, has a lot no, of Panos is absolutely a known entity. Really good player. Um, and then we've talked about Goose Con versus Puff before. He kind of yeah. got trounced by Hungry Box, but. Sometimes Hungerbox will just do that to you. It doesn't <laughs> really matter how good you are versus Puff. I mean this in no disrespect either, but there's kind of a skill difference between Dawson and Hungerbox too. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> I, know, I know. I'm sorry, Philly. I'm sorry, Philly. They can uh, behead me like the Thorfinn statue. <laughs> Real ones, though. Real but ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, and what, what do you think the difference is in terms of, like, how Goosecon approaches this matchup between, like, none that we just saw? I think the difference between how Goosecon approaches this and none approaches this is that Goosecon, he uses his movement as a way to feign, uh, like, to feign approaching. Like, yeah, feign, like, aggression. Yes. Yeah. So he will use, like, he will approach too, but he's going to do a lot of, like, dash dance and then jump to side platform and then wave land off. Yeah. Or dash back into double jump mix up, like there, and not actually approach and see what Puff will do. Whereas yeah. none is like raging bull, I'm running in at you. Like, <laughs> yeah, I have a WM1. Bunch of mix -ups, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah, WM1. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Goose Gun's aggressive too, but he definitely plays a lot more movement mix ups. And now Dawson's up a stop. Yeah, looking good, looking good. good. For Philly. This is for uh, losers. I don't know. This is for 17th, I think? Uh, if this is to make it out, then yeah. I think, I don't know. This I think you're right. I think, I think you're right that this is to make it out, though. Yeah, so it feels really deep. One of these players getting top 16 at, uh, I don't know if this is a major or not, but if it's a major. I think it's a major. Yeah, it's, it's a, major. a major. It's a major. Dawson or Goosecon in top 16 at a major looks pretty good pretty, for the resume. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, definitely resume defining. Ooh. I mean, oh, Goosecon right, already on. with kind of a resume defining run, to yeah. be honest. But yeah, keep it going, man. Okay, okay. I think the backer also covered a shield drop on Goosecon's yeah. part, so I really like the coverage that Dawson uh, displayed with the back air. Oh, and catches the double jump. That's yeah, just that it. That's it. just it, yeah. Dawson on the board. Yeah, I've, I've been pretty impressed with Dawson's edge guarding, uh, just in general today. I think I'm just, I am very, the thing that impresses me the most, I think, actually, about this, is that he came back from such a Devastating loss. Like, for people who didn't see it, he got destroyed by Moki. Like, he counted, Yeah, he just completely sunk, whatever. Completely sunk. And there are some players, as good as they are, can be, who just don't recover from that. Yeah. Like, they just lose immediately and losers. They're like, I'm out of it. I just can't play. It can anymore. be very mentally defeating to be, like, top player, and yet I've got. I just got so owned. <laughs> yeah, like, I got booed yeah. on stream, too, in front of all my friends. But Dawson, he's not like that. He's a, he's a yeah. warrior. He's got the warrior spirit, and uh, he's still fighting. I, I really respect that about him, because I know that a lot of, uh, like, there are people who can't do that. I mean, and I'm certain that, like, a lot of people in Dawson's tier of skill level, like, they, they've fought a top player, like a top five player, at least once or twice or something like that, and gotten destroyed. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's a thing that also improves with experience. For sure. 
and both of these players yeah. have tons of experience. Yeah, very, so. very experienced, especially against some of the best people in the game. Absolutely. Dawson, one of the most traveled players that I know. <laughs> just in general, he just yeah. goes to random uh, Midwest regionals, went to Pat's house. Uh, went to Patchwork? Patchwork, he did go to, <laughs> I teamed with him at Patchwork. Yeah. That was fun. But yeah, uh, he just travels a lot. He's really committed to the grind. And uh, ever since he was like a gold level player, uh -huh. I, I remember he would just like spam uh, other melee under the tag D Dawson. Oh, what a weird and bounce off that oh, down throw. Oh, sure. Yeah, stadium <laughs> shenanigans. But he was really committed. I, yeah. I just remember he, he always cared a lot. And I, I'm really happy that like, He's kinda, out of all the people yeah. from like, the COVID era, that he is one of the people who broke out. And yeah, was, yeah, was really, like, absolutely. Made a name for himself. It feels really good. Oh, for sure. And then Goosecon is like trying to etch his name in the top 100 for the first Absolutely, time. Absolutely, yeah. So, Getting top 16, it would it would be really nice for him, especially as someone trying to you know really get his name out there more. Yeah. All right, Dawson think, going for the drill in the tech chase. Uh, drill, oh. really safe option. As long as it hits something, then you're gonna be all right. I think Dawson's two for two with the uh, wave dash in call out on yeah. uh, Guscon Shield. Because dude, going for raw grab is probably kind of scary. Uh huh. I mean, like, if what, Falcon goes for, like, a stomp out of shield, a knee out of shield. There's so many ways to die <laughs> by raw yeah. grabbing his buff in this matchup. And Falcon is, like, zipping around. Like, the chances oh. that you hit him with that grab are are few and far between. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that... Yeah, he called out a Goose Cut short hop with the up air. HBox got a lot of mileage with that, like, little short hop up air against none, too. Yeah. I'm seeing that it's a, it's a real important facet of the matchup. Yeah, the, the two things I'm seeing Dawson go for here are that short hop we just talked about, and uh -huh. then uh, he's, he's sometimes uh, back airing, like full hop, full drift out, back airing the side platform. Yeah. And I don't think it's hit Goosecon, like once, but it's the threat of it. Because uh -huh. if Goosecon decides to jump to side platform and gets hit at low or at high percent, uh, That's so easy, yeah, so easy to lead into something. So it just like keeps Goosecon lateral to puff, like a character oh. like the way where it's kind of safe. They're having fun here. Yeah. I think Goose Gun may be a little more than Dawson. <laughs> Just a little bit. No way. Oh. Okay, okay. I thought that was going to be tragic for Goose Yeah. Gun. All right. Does finish off the stock, though. That's 1-1 one, one in the set. Yeah. I like how you can see in Goose Gun's player cam, there's a blurry little me. And then in <laughs> Dawson's player cam, if you move over a little bit to the left, there's a blurry little you. Or the right, sorry. Yeah. It's fun. I actually really like it when the stage is next to the commentary because then it's people a good time. The, yeah, people in the chat can hear everyone like screaming their lungs out when they're yeah, playing. Yeah, and playing. you just feel the energy a lot more, you know. I uh, gotta say too, I've loved this overlay, especially it's, when it's on the commentary cam and like the names are glitching out and stuff. It's oh, so cool. It's, great. it's so cool. Uh, shout out to Mono. I believe Mono was the one. Who oh, made really? It. That's so cool. Yeah. So, shout out to Mono. Uh, yeah. Oh, Mono and Jules. Shout out to Jules, too. Yeah. Of course. I mean, of Jules. course, shout out to Jules. Out to Jules. <laughs> I, um, I was speaking with Mango uh, in the VIP room earlier. Okay. And he was telling me this tournament is the most 2013 vibes. I, I've been saying been that all day. This feels... In the last 10 years. Especially, there's one tournament in particular that reminds me a lot of, and that is uh, Tipped Off. Tipped I, Off. I don't the remember which ones. one, but one of the old Full Metal ones yeah. where we were just That's at some conference center. Yeah. Oh, that was the Fire Alarm one, by the way. The Fire Alarm? Oh. Yeah, where it went off during Drug Fox uh, Wizrobe. And uh, we just had the. That was the one during the Smash Summit One, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was. I would say good times, but the viral getting pulled is never a good time. <laughs> it's it's fun in hindsight. At the time, it certainly was not. But yeah, it's like it's very 2013 coded. Yeah, like, yeah. The the I don't know if anyone's talked about it on commentary yet. So I'm sure that most people have stayed in a hotel before. The keys to your hotels, they're normally like digital. Yeah. Or you like scan them or something, or you like put it in. They just give you keys, like gold yeah, keys physical, like, physically lock unlocking. the door keys. Yeah. Like it, it feels like I'm in a bed and breakfast. Like I'm gonna <laughs> wake up and Grandma's gonna make me apple pie. Like it's it's awesome. Uh, I love the vibes. Yeah, it's great. It's great. I mean, I haven't been to a tournament like this in so long and this is it's so nostalgic i genuinely did not think a tournament like this would ever happen again <laughs> it's great there, there are plenty of like one day regionals that kind of fit this vibe but like this this is solid with the top players and everything it's it's 
I haven't seen it in a very long time. All, all the, in the documentary, when they talk about all the tournaments with like Ken and uh, oh, yeah. all, oh, all yeah, those people, absolutely. like this is that vibe. Like you can see it in the player camps, uh, or at least on the caster cam where we're just in a giant hotel ball. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. there's also an Indian wedding downstairs too. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, engagement the, party, but engagement yeah. party. Yeah. <laughs> so there's like a, it's like the the mesh too, where you just have like a different subgroup of people. That's uh, always been such a melee thing too, the, right? With the, the with the furry convention. Genesis furry and, convention, yeah, and cheerleading yeah. convention. Yeah. It's, it really gives me 2013 vibes as someone who started playing in 2016. <laughs> yeah, what, do you have anything to compare this to? Uh, I think SmashCon Fall Fest was similar to this. Okay, that's fair. That, um, that was kind of an odd tournament. The one SmashCon I then, never made. And then it was fun. I uh, That was a fun tournament for plenty of reasons. Yeah. But uh, the NJ Regionals, like there used to be an event run by uh, Hitbox Arena Johnny. Uh, okay. Legend of the NJ scene for controversial reasons <laughs> but um like we have those too in north carolina yeah, i get it every I get region's it, I get got it. <laughs> but uh they uh, it, it was similar vibes to this sure 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 and we're back to the match yeah it's back to the match tired. sorry 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 a little nostalgia trip for, for I, the both of us <laughs> melee in itself is a giant nostalgia oh yeah trip. i oh, don't yeah. think anyone's i don't think anyone's upset about it all right. I'm gonna be so wrong when I look at the chat. Oh, today. I mean, I'm you know, that's so how it be. That's how it be. But either way, we we hit our halftime. It's all good. Exactly. It's all good. So that's the halftime show right I there. I really like Goosecon Nair's here. Uh huh. Because he's mixing up between doing Nair in place and Nair to the top platform. <laughs> oh, and that like, full oh, hop. Yeah. Off the off the top ropes. Like there. the acrobatics of uh, Ringling Brothers Barnum <laughs> Bailey there. And. It doesn't land a lot, but it's a deterrent to stop Dawson. Absolutely. From, it's like, occupying a very specific yes, part of space exactly. that Goosecon really does not want Dawson to exist in. And Dawson has now realized that these nares tickle me. They don't <laughs> do anything. So I'm just going to wait them out and then back here safely because they don't threaten me at all. Oh, But that huge. will threaten you. Yeah, leading the nair into something like the stomp. Exactly. It's out the drip. I love. The I drill love that drill. That drill was so good. Because it covers all of, like the. If you imagine like a little box around the corner of the ledge, it covers the entire oh, box. Yeah. So Falcon, who can only go up be up, gets hit by it, no yeah, matter what he does. Because you'll see a lot of puffs. They'll they'll just try to perfectly time the bear, right? Yeah. And sometimes it reverses into the stage, and Falcon lives in. It's yeah. like the, the dare just perfectly leads into what you want to do. The other thing about it is that they, he can't tech the dare. Yeah. Like, he can't wall tech it. There's no mix-up. So. You can just, like, tech the follow-up, and if Dawson, like, executes, then there's you're not going to be set in the stage. Yeah. That's, that's a beautiful this thing really about it. I, I love, like, this micro, like, one interaction. There's just so much that happens in every interaction in Melee. <laughs> in, some, in some instances. It's so hard to talk about sometimes. It is. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's just, like, Fox clown nares against Sheik. Full hop. Yeah, yeah, just like, continuous like coin What are you going to say to that? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That but dare, that, yeah. there were layers to that dare. That's a dare of the gods. A little bit like an onion. Jiggle Buff kind of looks like one, too. <laughs> if you really think about it. Onions can win. I that's guess what, we'll that's have what, to that's wait what for Fizz is going to do. He'll yeah, make a, he'll uh, make a food, food fight. <laughs> we'll have to wait for uh, HD. Melee HD on the Switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Switch 2. Switch 2, yeah. And now we're going to switch to the windscreen. <laughs> as Dawson goes up 2 to 1 versus Goose. I hear you booing in the back. I hear oh, you booing. Oh, that's good. I love that. I think they were booing someone. I, first of all, it, it was very booing? prophetic, who's though. booing at a, at a Smash tournament? Uh, maybe they were saying and, Goose Con. Oh, Goose Con. <laughs> Goo earns. Yeah. But yeah, I do like the the homie mobs with this. It's it's great. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, it's very New England too. Did they start Yoshi's? I'm, I can't. Remember I want to say they started all. Yoshi's, which is why I'm kind of surprised they're back here. I've never been very good at remembering like what stages have been played in a set. <laughs> this has hard. happened to me when I play, and I'll have to be like, did we? Did we play here? Can I? Can I go back here? <laughs> There's only so much in the in the brain's memory that we I'm can saying, have at once. I'm saying. I'm trying to remember important things. Yeah. Like that time I won Genesis. <laughs> you did win Genesis. The time I won Riptide. Hey! <clears throat> or what was it, like the wobble contest at Shine? I did win Shine. I at remember a, that. At Shine yeah. 2020. 
I don't forget what year. I think it was yeah, 2019. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was five years ago, dude. What the? <laughs> where did time go? But five years ago at Shine, they had a wobbling contest. Um, where whoever wobbles the longest, uh, they got like a free $80 hoodie and like food. Yeah, you got merch and food. Yeah. yeah. So the highest wobble record was like four minutes or something. And I was like, these are rookie numbers. I'm yeah, absolutely. In. I put my headphones in. I turn on a loop of a song. I start wobbling. 30 minutes go by. I, <laughs> no. 30 minutes go by. And I see one of my friends going, and he's like, hey, Justin, you want to get lunch? I'm like, okay, sure. And I just stopped the wobble. And that was it. That was the winning wobble. There was no one else demented enough to wobble a CPU for 30 minutes. So It, it becomes an endurance contest at a certain point, for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, your thumb hurts, but I love wobbling. So I was happy. <laughs> oh, I love wobbling. Uh, I, do, I do, too, to be honest. I, NC's I mean, got something. I got a history. Yeah, with it. yeah. I just feel like people kind of need to get wobbled a little bit to really... Respect. All right, it really sorry. makes the blood warm. <laughs> it it really makes you appreciate the, the game more. Gives, uh, gives the viewers an enemy. <laughs> like, wrestling heels. I'm not even saying yeah, that. Like, no, a, I, I mean, you're not wrong. Wrestling heels, you know? The They're bug more. collectors, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Because the ammo. Whole trope. But either way. Yeah, unfortunate SD from uh, GooseCon, but uh, Dawson kind of taking that to the bank. And now people are going crazy for young Goose. Oh, yeah. what a read call. Oh, what a read yeah, on the Yeah, just a little too slow to actually be able to punish that, though. Yeah. I think if Dawson decides to go, like, beast mode, he just, he, he rests that. But yeah, maybe, like, waiting for a miss tag. The miss tag yeah. would definitely make that a lot more viable. He's playing it a lot more safe, and I, I, I respect that. Especially uh -huh. when, you know, two stocks to two. Ooh. Gets a CC grab. He's going to trade. Ooh, big bear from Goose. But great DI to get the ledge. And now... One back air is going to wow. kill him. There it is. There it is. Gosh, that back air occupies such a perfect space it against his does. character. It's so hard. But, oh, goes to ledge. He's so good at DIing to ledge. Yeah. Because he's safe there. Puff is kind of slow in the air, so she's not going to be able to cover it. Now, right. Dawson does is, have a jump, but yeah, that's it. Yeah. That was a great call-up because Goosecom was like pseudo circle camping him and going to side platform to top platform. Uh -huh. um, and Dawson hard called out the top platform with that fair. So to get the stop. It just yeah, leads into the easiest edge guard. And like normally that fair is not gonna do anything, but if you're at hundred plus percent, it'll send you off stage. Like he can't do that's that call out. That's move selection. Now. That's move yeah. selection, baby. Yeah, like he can't do the call out right now. It's like the in the log guide to improvement, the green trap. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Okay, right. Goosecon with all the momentum big, right here. Yeah. Just keeping Dawson out, the great wall of Goosecon. And Dawson definitely feels like he has to approach now too, which helps a lot. But it's a little scary when yeah. Goosecon's on the top platform because one up air could be a rest and could be the set. All right, that weak up air was actually surprisingly close to killing with bad DI. So tense, oh, he just waved dash underneath that up air's not no. gonna kill quite yet, it's a little bit stale. You're right, the staled up air. Oh, this is so scary. Goosecon wants to catch him <gasps> in there. That's the up air. Woo! That could have been. Oh! Nia the he had had it. so much earlier, yeah. And Goose Con rips his dreams away. Game five set. Dang. Who would have seen this coming? Top this 16. This is he. This is he, yeah. This is for top 16. That is on the line right now. Both of these top players. Top 16 had a major for both of these players, yeah. I think this might be the first top 16 for both of them, too. Yeah. Ever yeah. Had a major. It certainly is for Goose Con. Dawson's made it far. I think he made it far in main stage once where yeah. he beat Ginger. But I don't know if he got top 16. He went FD. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's, I don't know. About That's a that little one. wild. Oh, it's already looking good for Goose. Because, like, there's no platforms. I feel like Dawson was getting so much off of reading. Yeah, Goose that's, Con's a, movement that's to the platform. thing people don't realize. It's like the funny thing about FD is there's no, like, platforms to, like, run on, you know? Yeah, there's, like, you can't read Goose Con's area, like, jumps when he doesn't need to jump. I guess you can stay Ooh, more grounded, bear. but I don't know if this is the pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just throwing out smash attacks now. This is looking like middle school melee. <laughs> oh, release day, baby. Ooh. Oh, oh that was scary. Dude, he's already styling, and it's been one stock. Like, it's, <laughs> Goose Con is so in his head right now. Okay. All right, big up air. Gosh, that falling oh. up air from oh. Puff has We're been making money in this matchup today. Yeah, he went up a little bit. Too, uh, Dawson drifted a little bit too far. Um, 
Uh, the trick that Hip Squeak, Hip Squeak taught me. Oh yeah. Was that at the ape? It's at the apex of Falcon's drift, uh -huh. like on the apex of Falcon's upbeat when he's like yeah. at the highest point. That's when he commits, right? Yes. Like you can't like commit as heavily with the drift until after that, or oh, until the drill. before that. Oh, but fast falls. Fast falls to hit the drill and then can't hit the follow up. Yeah. Oh, he's actually. His wave dashes are actually been really clean. He's like yeah. wave dashing away from Goosecon, uh, Goosecon's raw grabs, and then when he reads Goosecon uh, dashing back, he just wave dashes in and then gets a grab. There we go. Oh, the pound! We have seen like no pound today. Yeah. Obviously, is terrifying against Falcon. But oh yeah, I sure. feel like yeah, that can be an important part of the mix. You gotta up. risk it for the biscuit yeah, if yeah, you're yeah, down yeah. this much, though. Especially when, Ooh. for all intents and purposes, he had the set. Yeah, yeah, right. And. I think it was like this weird regret where he was like, I knew I should have rested earlier, so now I'm committed to trying to find the rest. Yeah, right? which it's just scary too, because if he messes up again, yeah, like if you rest here, you're down a stock, but you yeah. need to have a rest or else you're not getting a lead again. I mean, maybe like a quick edge guard. That's the only thing, right? Yeah. Just hit him off stage. Oh. <sighs> this is so tense. Yeah. Well, both of these players want it so bad. And Goose definitely a little more comfortable right now. I want to see if Goose is able to call out Dawson's wave dashes. Like, just overshoot something yeah. like once. I want to see him try. Like, just run up raw knee. Or run up, like, overshoot grab. It's scary. But he's being very disciplined with these up airs, too. It's clear that there's a very defined place where he will up air Jigglypuff. Oh. And then further, no. There's Great the back bear. air from yeah. before covering all the space near ledge. And, and eight, uh, eight box. Dawson stripped the ledge. Oh gosh, that's a bad start for Dawson. Yeah, 39% already. Like he needs this edge guard bad. Oh, let's get good. it. Yeah, but how how do you come back this? This is just tough. Get a, get a grab yeah. and back throw off stage. Yeah, you, you that's, need that's, to get a quick kill. On I think if I'm just on yeah. stage, center stage, sitting pretty. Oh, the wave dash. Oh, that could Wait, be that's it. what he needed. Oh! That's what he needed. Dawson, wall of pain. Woo! Hold up a second, folks. There is still oh, life in him. 69% no. on the board. And this is this is where Puff wants you. Philly crowd coming alive. Is Goose Kong going to cover these wave dashes? Because he's getting so much off of them. No overshooting at all. Goose Kong playing it so safe. Just yeah. Staying I mean, you don't want to overshoot into the corner. Yeah. That's This is what Dawson wants. He wants Goose Kong to approach. And oh, he's Dawson so is much, nickel and diming. Building up this percent. Oh. And that, that will do wow. it. Wow, huge pop off. A massive pop off. Ontario top 16. This guy's that's, not even top 100. That's crazy. Talk about a resume builder, man. Now I'm just got to be happy 